so I'm back with the Girl For All Time um, other clothing. I'll bring her over. Come on, Clem. I put Clem on a cardigan now that I bought off Etsy. It's a lovely purple because I um on my research shows that you know they didn't really have a lot of uh, uh choice of colours. They didn't have you know they were taking things apart, make doing and mending. Millie squeaking her ball, and um and that's hand me downs and things like that. So Clem has got on a cardigan that I got off of Etsy that fits a girl for all time dolls she's 16 inches and skinny so she's a lot skinnier than um, the other dolls than the the our generation doll uh, the American girl kit doll that I have so um she's gonna patiently wait here while I open up these so I did get the land girl outfit because that is part of Clem's story so she needs um the land girl outfit and I'm going to open this one her coat and berry that you saw yesterday which is in a lovely dusty pink color so it's basically the box is the same as the one I showed you yesterday gorgeous box let's see what it's like inside so straight away I've took it out of the box, straight away I turn around and I'm dismayed to see strings because oh, I know they leave marks. They won't show though in this because it's wool so that is a bonus on this but when you think this this outfit was I think £35, um, £35 English pounds, and for it not to be you know for them not to just put it in a nicer box anyway I did email the company yesterday and just said how disappointed I was Millie stop it for a minute when I um, opened the box to find the ribbon on Clem's hat was stitched and so it left left a mark in the ribbon because I was, I am, dis that is disappointing. Um, but anyway, it doesn't depart from her story and who she is and how pretty she is. Look at her, she's looking at that land girl outfit. She's like, what? I have to wear something like that? I am a girl who wore a tap dancing shoes, I'll have you know. So there's the little beret. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I lit the fire. So I better just wash it off my hands. A wet wipe. <laughs> wow. Rub it off. There we go. That's a little beret. And here is the coat. I just I'm trying to get it off as carefully as possible so I don't leave any. I leave as minimal marks as I can from because I don't want to pull any of the, the fabric. Oh, it's on the coat. Ugh, why do they do that? The coat is stunning. So you're going to be nice and warm now, Clem. Pure wool coat, um, which would have been then. Can you see? It's a little mark there from the don't think you can see that so well so that's not quite so bad but well you can see it now you can see that little mark there that is from the string the other ones you can't see because they were in with the stitching but it's got this lovely stitching detail at the bottom of it one button um which was typical you know you would try to like save as much as you could then really and a beret so I'm going to try it on her. There she is in her coat. She stands really well. It looks really great on her. The coat is a snap. The button is actually, it doesn't work as a button, it is a snap. And it comes just above her dress. Um, that 
It's lovely. Let's see from behind. Couldn't put it on with the cardigan on though. Now you had to be pretty, pretty brave and strong in those days. And quite often, you know, you just, a lot of the children just went with no coat or a coat that was miles too big for them. A coat that had bits attached to it because it had been, it was too small for them. So it, they'd have to make um, additional features to them. So Clem's very lucky to actually have such a nice coat and beret. I think Clem likes her new coat. Look at those beautiful little sandals. So sweet in there. They're so sweet. Look at them. And their little socks, how they're just like rolled down the knee pulling up. <laughs> okay, Clem. Warm enough. Yes. Okay, we're open the land outfit in another video. The land girl outfit in another video.